I don't know. Dun 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 dun. Baby break do 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 baby break do. Okay, so we're gonna start in three, two, one. Hey, good people. So thank you for tuning in for video number one. In honor of video number one, we're gonna share some little story time with Theo. Talk about fears. We're gonna go back to high school. Like, boom. All right, high school. Ninth grade. Yeah, ninth grade. I had one of the Obama's teachers. He was the best biology teacher I had. Um, Ash kept me, you know, engaged and stuff like that. But one thing that he had a demerit on, he got a demerit on this one. He had a tarantula. A tarantula, y'all. Okay, I don't I don't know if you get okay. Close things in face I he had a tarantula. It's okay. That's his thing, that's you. I I appreciate it. For me, that is not my thing. That is not for me. No. But you you like tarantula. That's cool. We good. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it at all times. So my routine was walk in, go to a seat, make sure ain't nothing going on with the seat, they go check on spot. We spot it and that's where it is. And then they periodically check on to make sure it's not in distress, not aggravated, not on the case like and, and trying to escape. It escapes. I don't care we on the second floor. Theo is out the window cutting back flip sticking. Okay, we done. I'm I'm not playing. We ain't playing. It's, it's aggravated. I've seen Jungle to Jungle. Mimi Siku had one. It gets aggravated. Everybody scattered, okay? Everybody just... One day, it was Monday or Tuesday, come in. Mr. Smith is over by the microscopes, and he's looking at something. And it's dim in the room. I'm not paying attention because he's in the intent. So I'm like, hey, Mr. Smith. Hey, what's up? So I go, I pick my chair. I'm back there. I proceed to go over there to the aquarium. So I go over there to the corner, I said, boy, oh, Jesus, he got a little log. No, he's, you know, tucked away in there. I'm like, okay. You see, he with my good eye. Miss Smith, where's the spider? Instantly, my whole world freezes, just like a call is coming from inside the house. You paralyze, you don't want to turn around because you don't know if it's in, it's behind you. You don't know where it's at. Right now, you've got tunnel vision. It's forward and maybe to your peripheral. That's about it. At this point in time, my book bag is a casualty. It is lost. We do not have it. It is not with us. Mr. Smith, where is your spider? At this point in time, when he hears that, it wasn't a nice little, where's your spider? It was, where is your spider? Straddling everything, saying, don't move, don't touch nothing. He starts buzzing out loud. It's okay. It's not okay. This is not okay. He's like, come here. What you mean, come here? I don't want to move because it could be on me. We have problems right now. Me and you are friends right now. I eventually step to him. He's like, look, it molted. It's at the vet. They get very tender and very vulnerable. I just want to make sure it was all right. Are you sure it's at the vet? Because you know them things could be like dogs and not want to stay at the vet and latch on to you. It could be somewhere. He points at the microscope and I'm looking and it looked like he killed his spider. Sticking it. Like it's just upside down. Just, he was like, no, that's the husk. And I'm like, that's the, what's the husk? That looks like him. She said, Skin, it gets bigger. It gets what? Mama, no. <laughs> He's looking at it, and I'm looking at it, and it looks like oh, it was this little face hugger that fell off somebody. And it's got a little spang just up. And once I see the face, I'm like, okay, Mr. Smith, let me get to go sit down. I'm going to leave you. Goodbye. And I go back, and I sit down and proceed to try to demystify it and just get the chills and skin crawling off of me because. At that point in time, I was like, everybody's infected. We got spiders everywhere. All y'all got spider babies. It, we gonna go home. I'm gonna get a little bit of trash to come out somewhere and I'm gonna die. No, it didn't happen. It did mold. It was fine. It came back. I was thankful for that. You know, I graduated. Mr. Smith was still, he is still one of the coolest teachers. Just don't do as much. There's a level of things that Theo does and does not do. So if you come at me and you like pull out zombie like costume, don't. Cause you're gonna lose your head. I'm sorry, I'm not responsible. I cannot be held responsible for the things done in fear, but that's what's gonna happen. You lose your head. I'm just like, he was a zombie. It was zombie coming up. Now, if it's not believable, of course, I'm just gonna look at you like, you need a bad bag. For the most part, yeah, Theo don't do zombies and spiders. Yeah, Theo don't do spiders. If they're in my house, you, you're done, you're done. But if they're outside their short domain, scoot, scoot, bye-bye. But on that note of just fears and things like that, listen, 
don't allow your fears to, to actually paralyze you into doing things that you want to do. Just for me personally, I know one big thing that held me back for you know, a lot of years. I had a horrible self-image that took me years of actually deep like affirmation and like mentors and people that were close to me that actually pouring into me, actually showing me and telling me the truth. Um, sometimes brutally honest, which I needed about myself that helped me grow and learn to love myself even to the point where I started doing modeling. And that took, like I said, that took years because I remember there was a whole year I didn't even look in the mirror because I didn't like what I saw. There were so many things that I was like, no, I'm not as attracted to this person. Listen, that's cool crap. Um, you're amazing, you're good people. And it took people that actually knew me and could pour into me and actually tell me, hey, yeah, you can step up this area of your life, but you're not bad. It took me actually saying that to myself, you know, I'm awesome for the first, like a little while, maybe a year or two, I would laugh. Like I would tell some of my friends, you know, about that. And I would laugh when I would say I'm awesome because it sounded so strange to me to hear, oh, you're awesome. But sitting down and, and looking at all that I was able to be a part of, things that I was able to do as far as music and drawing and anything pretty much that I set my mind to. All of these things that I was able to do and sit down and look and like, you know what, I am awesome. I can do all these things. And even so, to somebody that doesn't have all these things or doesn't have anything that they value or think, look, you start somewhere. If there's something that you want to do, do it. Um, it took me years when I first started learning music. I w always wanted to learn violin and piano. Two things that I wanted to do. I ended up getting connected with people who had a piano, had chord charts. I started learning. And so I was like, you know what, there we go. But I took that first step. You gotta take the first step. Even if it's, I don't know how to, just do it. You start looking up. All my friends know that there's points and times when my interest and my inspiration is peaked. Then I'm like, okay, I'm doing research. <laughs> and like for a week or two straight, I will sit and do nothing but gather knowledge, gather knowledge, gather knowledge. So even like this, I have to give big props to Dominique Wally. If you haven't heard of him, he's amazing. He loved his content, but because of him, it kind of gave me the motivation to start my channel. The thing is, you start somewhere, you, you do the research, you see what it takes to get into it, but you don't get discouraged, all right? You, you hit the ground running and keep going. Nobody can stop you for you. If you want to be the best artist, look at other artists. If you don't have the talent right there, then you, you study, you, you grow from it, because all of the great artists, I assure you, have pulled from one place or another. Take bits and pieces, make it your own, learn from them, be inspired by them, because it's pretty much what they put out there. Same thing if you want to go to the modeling, just like music, just like gaming. You don't just start off and just boom. If you do, look, props to you. You are awesome, okay? But everybody's awesome. You just have to find your own niche. What what you like, okay? Not what particularly everybody else is gonna like and then there's gonna be a lot of people that don't like what you do. That's fine, that's them. They can have their own opinions, they can have their own likes, they can have whatever they want to do. You do you, okay? But we're gonna do us, okay? Just do you. Good people, do you, okay? And as you do, share. Love people, that's it. That's all it's about. So with that being said, you guys have a good day and thank you for joining. Bye-bye. Ah! <laughs> I started again. Ah!